Well, I'm up at Government House. I'm talking with uh, Adam Wood, the Governor of the Isle of Man. And uh, really just to catch up and see how your year's been, because obviously you've now done one till day. Uh, this is your second. So is the pressure off for starters on the, on the event? Well, I think it's always a, um, a great event to do. I, Katie and I really enjoyed Tin All Day last year, but the weather was pretty poor. And as we look out the window today, I mean... I think we're not looking too good at the moment for sun tomorrow, I'm afraid. No, no it's a shame because at the start of the week, the forecast was for Tin All Day itself to, to enjoy decent weather. Uh, it doesn't look that way anymore, but you can't control the climate, you can't control the weather. Uh, I felt enormous respect last year for anyone who came along to support the event. Uh, it was pretty wet and uh, both the members of the public I spoke to but uh, particularly the young people who lined the processional way and by the time we left Timwald Hill their teeth were chattering and the rain was streaming down their cheeks. I mean the, it was tough on everyone but uh, full marks to those that came and took part, full marks to those that came to support it. Tomorrow it looks uh, like it's going to be pretty foggy. It's been foggy on this island for about two weeks now. So no one will see you maybe at the top of the hill there. <laughs> A challenge to uh, TV broadcasters. Um, let's hope the forecast uh, is wrong and we actually get a break in the clouds earlier than is currently predicted. Last year it had a feel like the end of term because obviously it was before the election. So it was, you know, that for some people it was their last Tim Ward. Well, and it was Noel Kringle's last Tim Ward yes. as president. So, I mean, you, you've under involved in that of course you you had the election here so it's all very important that was f constitutionally an important moment wasn't it absolutely i think in in a five-year tenure for uh, a lieutenant governor it is a highlight because the uh, it is the pinnacle of the constitutional role after the people made their choice on who they wished to return to the house of keys tinwood sat and chose a chief minister and the very first thing for alan bell was to come here for me to issue him with uh, his warrant as chief minister. And uh, that was great, I really enjoyed that. And then he went away, made his choices as uh, members of the council and returned with them for me to issue each of them with their warrant of appointment. So uh, you know, it's formulaic, if you like, it's simply a reflection of a, an electoral process in which the population, the voters, make their choice. My role is a a ceremonial one, if you like, I don't have executive power, but it is reflected in the Constitution and I rather enjoyed all of that aspect of it. Well, how's your year been? Tell, take us through some of the, the highlights you've had. Well, they exist across the different components of the role, if you like. Um, for me, many, uh, one of the great highlights was the Commonwealth Youth Games, uh, not something that comes around very often. Uh, it brought together both the role here in supporting the royal family. You know, I am here as the Queen's representative and uh, the Earl of Wessex came in his link to the Commonwealth Youth Games to open those games. So it was great to have him here stay with us, um, support him through his role in relation to uh, all the young people from across the globe who had come to this event and I think found him a uh, you know, a very warm and approachable person. That was good to see and to support. And actually, increasingly good as the weekend progressed and the different events reached their climax, that we saw on the island young people who, amongst them, will have you know, the future leaders of their sport, learning something about the Isle of Man, really enjoying the participation and uh, taking back with them memories of this island in the middle of the Irish Sea that a number of them may not have heard of previously. So that was a, a true highlight for me. It wasn't your only royals though, was it? No, indeed. Uh, as part of the Diamond Jubilee celebrations, and of course the, the island will be marking uh, the, the Jubilee slightly later than much of uh, the British Isles by continuing from the Timor Day celebrations with a, a celebration on the following day. But to kick off, in a way, the celebrations on the island, Prince of Wales and uh, the Duchess of Cornwall came to visit in uh, weather which <laughs> maybe set the tone for the summer you could say it was torrential rain uh, but the crowds came out and uh, full marks to them it was it was uh, great to see so many people who did want to come out and meet the uh, the Prince of Wales but also you know he and uh, the Duchess of Cornwall did a very thorough job in getting to meet 
those who come to uh, cheer them on and learn quite a lot about the island, especially when we went to Peel. Now let's talk a bit, a bit more about Adam Wood himself. Things about you that maybe people don't know. I mean, I, I saw you at uh, the King Williams College event uh, some months ago and then you said in passing, oh, I'm just going to walk back to Douglas. And I thought, my goodness, that's a bit of a hike. I mean, you're still doing these sort of things, although you didn't do the parish walk, but you no. do like the outdoor life a bit. I do, indeed. Why uh, did you do the parish walk? Oh, two questions in one. <laughs> yes, yes, let's... let's, 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 let's <laughs> you like walking? Yeah, I do. I think uh, something I've learned in these uh, 15 months is how you know, there are challenges about living on an island on those occasions when you uh, want to leave and to return. The sea may be rough or the cloud may be thick and uh, yeah, whether it's an aircraft or a ship, it's, it's not always the, the greatest thing to do. But on this island, it is the sea that surrounds you that is such a, a beauty. Whether it's walking along cliffs and enjoying the coastal views, or getting out onto the water itself, whether with sailing for the disabled, which I've done on, on their yacht, and interesting to see their work at first hand, or um, supporting Manx bird life and some of their role around the breeding orcs at the chasms or the Manx shearwater that breed on, uh, on the calf of man. So you can get out on the water and see this island from the sea. It is a fantastic view. But if you can't do that, just walking along the cliffs, I enjoy greatly. And you're right, that uh, event at King William College actually happened in the, the Manx summer. We had uh, four or five days there and the sun shone, and I wasn't going to miss that. So my uh, ceremonial role there over, I, I, I put my shorts on, <laughs> had to grab the opportunity here, and uh, walked back along the cliffs, and it was a glorious day. Parish Walk didn't do it again. What was the reason? Didn't like it? I'm, Paul, I have the greatest respect for people that do that event. Uh, and actually the most enjoyable thing the year before was the support from those along the, uh, along the side of the route, uh, offering you some sort of sustenance, a drink or, uh, or a nice bit of food. Uh, so the, that sort of spark of the community that came through in the event was, was a great thing to witness, but it's tough. And I'm not sure how far you got when you... Oh, you've I not know, done it. You've not done it. No, but you got to... I, I, I went to Russian. Russian. Uh, and frankly, that was too far for me. The, the, it's the pace that people go at that, is, uh, that takes you by surprise. And I, you know, that, that totally exhausted me. So those who get as far as Peel you know, have great respect for me. And uh, to complete the course, well, it's, you know, there's something slightly intimidating almost that people can do that. But you know, when you do go in for it, let me know how far you get. I will.